I'm here in the Philippines with a group of Philippine science teachers. We've come to this nature preserve and we're sampling the biodiversity, mainly of, of aquatic animals here. Probably no one has ever come here and done a study of biodiversity, at least not in the way that we're going to do it, because we'll take these samples back to the lab, extract DNA, and get a little bit of DNA that we can identify each creature by. About half of the creatures we find here will not be in the DNA databases, so these teachers and later perhaps their students can contribute real information about the biodiversity of the Philippines and in the larger context of the world. We are losing species. Species are becoming extinct at the rate of thousands per year. Many of them we don't have names for. So the effort of citizen scientists like these teachers and their students to go out in the natural world and sample what they find there and report back the data to databases is really essential because some of these creatures may go extinct before, say, American scientists or other fancy kinds of scientists could get here. So it's really important that we try to get a handle on the biodiversity in places like the Philippines. There's not really enough scientists in the Philippines to do this work, and there's not even that many visiting scientists. We believe that students from around the Philippines can fill in for scientists by sampling the natural biodiversity, extracting the DNA, and developing these DNA barcodes or signatures for the creatures and organisms that are here in the Philippines. This work on biodiversity here with teachers has been made possible by the Breakthrough Prize Foundation, which has sponsored a high school here to have a new science lab, and Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory has helped this school design and equip that lab. Now we have a group of teachers working in that lab from the science high schools from around the Philippines, and we're teaching them how to do DNA barcoding that, so that they can have a national project where students assess the biodiversity of this island nation. As far as I can tell, none of the 24 teachers in this course have ever had an opportunity to do these kinds of experiments. They've learned about DNA and DNA analysis entirely from textbooks all their lives. So this is the first chance they've had to get their hands dirty with DNA. And we hope that by setting up a system of equipment sharing, that quite a few high schools here in the Philippines can come into the gene age and begin to analyze DNA with their students and to bring real substance to the theory that they've carried around for all of their, all of their lives.